Hey everybody, this is Bone Fox, and this is Hand of Fate. It is a card RP, uh, roguelike dungeon game. It's really weird, because you play a combination of a card game and a roguelike dungeon game, but it's very well blended. It is an indie game on Steam, and I highly recommend it. Okay, and in this you face several bosses, and they rank like cards: Jack, King, uh, Jack, Queen, King, and I th think there's an Ace, but I don't think, uh, maybe not. Eh, no, there's no Ace. Never mind. But there's a Jack, King, and Queen of uh, different sets, and the very first set is Bandits, and that's who we're fighting. We are fighting the Jack of Bandits. Now these are the cards we are playing with. As we go, we unlock cards. And every time you play through, it's a bit more random. No, Twisted Canyon. See a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to the skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Now I can climb down for getting it, or I can leave it. If I climb down, I may risk being injured. Or having something bad happen. I'm not sure what, but you can have something bad happen to you. Or I can leave it and I don't uh, have a chance at the weapon. So I'm going to go for the weapon this time. So. Choose from these options. Pretty hard to fail that one, but this is just a very simple thing. And I get one weapon card. Now we flip those cards over in that uh, right hand corner until we find one. Left trigger plus X. Ooh, nice. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to take a little while to actually get completely used to what I'm doing. And this is a definitely to save her. That will make me much more effective. This will definitely be interesting. Now, this is your inventory and you can see what you have equipped. I wanted to make sure I actually equipped the sword cuz I wasn't sure what I hit. Each step you take without food will do you damage until you eventually starve and die. Dead Man's Gorge. Now, draw one monster card. Okay, two of dust, so two bandits. Now here's where the roguelike dungeon comes in. Well, I guess the card part's also roguelike. It's me versus two bandits. And dead. So an easy victory there, but it was just two simple bandits. And I basically just button mash the crud out of that one. Four gain cards. Now when you win f win fights, you generally get some type of gain. In this case, four gain cards. Oh, one armor card, which is nice. Oh, mace. A little bit faster. Mm, no. My weapon does more damage. One food. Food's very important, especially later on. Like right now, it's not that important because the dungeon shouldn't be too long. But in the later ones, you can have like five, seven floor dungeons. And another three food. So I'm up to 15 food, so I'm sitting pretty. Ooh, the maiden. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. Um, so gold, ten gold, nice. Ten gold. 
and five. So 25 gold total, not bad. Now we go down to the next level. Take the stairs. Click the cheese. Okay. And we have a shop. Very nice. Approach the shop and see what we can't buy. Or sell. Greetings, wise traveler. We have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. <laughs> we're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Now, I will sell this mace. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. No, it's not. Let's see what we can buy. Eh. Do I have a shield yet? I don't think I have a shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Here to reflect projectiles. Ah, excellent. It's wide a counter. Awesome. Your shield may now be used to counter your opponent's attack. So that's quite nice. And I'll, I'll buy some food just in case. I highly doubt it's going to be even relevant for this. Yes, I am sure I want to leave. But, eh. Never hurts to be prepared. And I don't know what all cars... Ooh. What do you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? And three of dust. Now, the dusts are pretty easy and pretty straightforward. This is going to get me worked into the game, and later on this will become significantly more challenging as they add different mob types and stuff like that. Okay. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Dang. That finisher takes a long time to use. But not bad. Pretty easy kill there. But uh, sadly, I took one hit. Sneak up and kill them. Now, if you good enough, you can actually watch the uh, bad card. Like, I'm fairly certain the bad card is this one. And I'll click here. Oh, I was wrong. Or you can watch the good cards depending, because later on you'll have like three failures and one success. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Uh, there's no difference. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make Ten max health. Excellent. Dell's Carnival. Ooh, that sounds cool. One day, just as dusk approaches, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and strange smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents, stalls that once were brightly colored, but now are faded and tainted with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets, alleys, Past wonders, amazement, almost in a bazaar. Oh, days. <laughs> There's something about the place that dulls the senses while you forgo. Forge the path that brought you to this place. Ooh, now this one's a little bit scarier. Crap, I lost track of that one. I think it's this one. Okay, good. Stop. Catch your eyes. Mystery. Mysteries of the carnival await you. Now, here's where it gets really tricky. A choice. Select your design. Dang.
That that was bad. Oh well, that's the nature of the game. My first champion, a good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him, wife and child, kith and kin. In such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Okay. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. The Jack of Dust. Let's see how we fare. Jack of Dust and his four stooges. Some enemy attacks will not be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. Oh god. Okay, that's how I roll. Okay. Now let's wait for his sparkles to wear off. I can't block any of his attacks when he does it. Dang it. Wow. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, or so. That was a little harder than I suspected, but I'm sure with a little bit more practice I'll get better. One champion has been sent to the cabin. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face seven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. Well then, that wasn't too bad. Let's see what we've gotten. Jack of Bones. So we'll be facing the Jack of Bones. Dead King's Hall. River. Local Peasant. Devil's Choice. Mr. Lonely. Or... Lena L, Or whatever his name is. Now the ones with the locks mean that I will have to deal with them. They will be in my deck until such time as I manage to unlock them again. The ones with those little uh, medals at the bottom of them mean that if I complete them properly, I will unlock more cards. I'll get these little reward tokens over here, which break apart into cards. Medium armor, chains of rage, mercenaries contract, medium armor... Fortitude's Breath, and Life's Limb. And, got Bandit Attack, Goblins, Maze of Traps, and they are all locked, but the Goblins and the Maze of Traps both have uh, reward tokens for completion. Excellent. Shall we deal again? Well, everybody, that was the first game of Hand of Fate. I'm going to leave this one short, so tell me what you think. Uh, would you like to see more of this?